<laughs> but let's fast forward a little bit, you know, um, you know, obviously a, a little bit later on in your career as a young brown belt, you had some big tests in front of you. And, um, you know, you went into ADCC, I believe, still as a brown belt, if I'm not mistaken, your first ADCC. No, to, no you uh, were a black belt already? Okay. I was a black belt. I got okay. a black belt a couple of weeks before that. Okay. So, but before that, um, I remember the, there's a famous match on the internet at uh, the Brazilian Team Championship. And you actually faced, you're in the brown and black belt mixed divisions because that's how they yeah. used to do the team championship. But you fought Damian Maia. And this video kind of just got put out there. And it's people been, you know, watching this video like crazy because it was really exciting i think that both of you guys um you know fought very aggressively and it was it was it was awesome to watch so what do you remember about that match and maybe you know fighting other black belts in that tournament specifically or that match with damien what what's your your memory if you could kind of break down that match for me and you know what happened yeah, no, I mean, I remember that fight clearly because that's one of the fights that catch, they actually stuck into my mind that even you know to 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 this day it was uh it was a very significant fight for me that's why it had a, a huge uh, importance because i was just coming up you know was i, I stay it was uh, probably the biggest fight on my on my brown belt you know suddenly it's like the national team's brown and black together so you're not just fighting brown you know you suddenly because it's, it's almost like the black belt is the is when you become professional in jiu-jitsu you know pretty much like up to up to brown belt you can you can consider yourself an amateur because you you're not black belt you're not fighting against the best so the best is in the black belt so anyway so when you know that term is black brown and black together it's you know if they you don't know who you're fighting and i think that was the last fight of the group so we, you know like it was important for my group for me to win so we can go to the next uh next step and you know i remember clearly walking to that fight in you know in my, my point of view i'm like i'm the i'm i'm, you know, I'm the, the the black sheep here you know like he's the black belt you know he got the, the black belt before me i remember watching fight having big fights in the black belt you know so he, i already knew he, he was almost like a step ahead of me you know he's a brown black and i'm brown so in my mind i'm like this is war like i have to to win but at the same time, it wasn't kind of different the, the, the challenge that I was facing in the academy because you know Gracie Baja back then, it was one of the if not one of the if not the strongest academy in the world. So for you know for the past years, I was training with really high level people, you know even though the, of course you know Damien is very uh, good, you know his level is really high, but that type of hard training I was already used to in the academy. You know, so I was facing people that were even ahead of him, you know, like Holeta, Nino, you know, such a, you know, Gordo. There were so many great guys in the black belt, world champion, that was, they were my training partners. So when I was facing him, it wasn't suddenly, it's like you're facing something completely, you, that, something that you're not used to, it, you know, that big challenge. That, oh my God, this is too big for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, I've been fighting guys harder than him in the gym and I'm going at them, you know, like we were having wars. So when I went to, to face him in that fight, I was like, man, this is my time. You know, I need to, to, to give everything. So it was like no strategy. You know, usually I'm like a slow starter. You know, I think after a few years on my black belt, I allow myself to start low. It gave me that, that confidence that, okay, I can push the pace in a few minutes. I don't have to start from scratch. But with him, I'm like, I, you know, I don't, I can't, I don't know. I cannot allow myself to start slow and then, I might lose in the end, so I'm like, I'm starting full on. So the fight started in a very fast pace. And, you know, like taking downs and sweeps. And I remember like halfway through the fight, I look at the, the scorecard. I'm losing by two points and I'm dead. Like my energy level is like very low because I just tried to take him down a couple of times. I had the single leg and I'm really pushing and I'm tired. And then, you know, I, would, I had to kind of slow the pace down into, you know, in, in become a slightly more technical uh, fight because, you know, my energy level was like really low. And uh, and there was one moment in the fight that I'm in his guard. I'm kind of in the half guard, you know, he's, he has some hooks and even throwing the half guard. And then suddenly there's a position that I do from half guard that I mount people straight away, you know, that I go from half guard straight to mount. And I'm able to, to do that on him. And that suddenly, you know, seven points. 
So that put me straight away much ahead of him. And I remember at that moment when I mount, I'm like, fight is mine now. You know, it's like, now there's no chance that he can recover this. You know, there's like two minutes, I don't know, two, three minutes up to the, to the fight. And in, in, even though that I was in the mount, I, I'm like, I'm going to finish him. So and I went like straight to the neck. I'm trying to, to attack and then suddenly he escaped. You know, he put him back in the guard and I think a few seconds later and then the fight was over. But yeah, I mean, it's, I remember almost the whole fight, you know, that was one of the fights that really uh, stuck into my memory. So, you know, you answered something that uh, some people have been asking about that match, and I think that that was, that was really cool. Um, a lot of people were like, well, man, why is he celebrating so much? And I think that it was because of your team advanced in the team yeah. competition. So that was a very, um, that was a very important match.